What's going on guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and welcome to my final video of 3 introducing version 1.6 and the GT World Challenge 2020 DLC for Assetto Corsa Competizione. This will be the most technical of the 3 videos. I've found that typically with sim racing updates that the new content tends to steal the show initially and then the dust settles over the new cars and tracks and improvements to the driving experience become appreciated more. And there's a lot to appreciate with version 1.6 of ACC. So Kunos has made some significant improvements to the already widely loved tire model. Your experience moving forward will be more constant at the edge of grip. They've reduced the influence of realignment forces and the corresponding suspension forces eventually provide more communicative force feedback and a more responsive tire grip. So the end result is a more stable behavior as the car approaches the limits of traction and these effects will be most notable in heavier mid-engine cars like the Lamborghini, Audi and Porsche. And previously they would become unstable in quick shifts of direction like a chicane and they can now be driven more aggressively and should also feel more stable on turn in under trail braking. So the extra force feedback information can give the impression of the grip levels being more on edge, but actually the grip is more stable and just giving you more communication back to your wheel. It'll take some time to get used to, especially for those of us who've become used to the feel of ACC overall, but in time the extra grip will be appreciated. And another thing to note is that the tires are now more sensitive to pressure, and these tires will actually provide less grip below and above their optimal pressure than you're used to. The simulation of rolling resistance is now more accurate as well, and these changes affect all of the tire variants in ACC. And speaking of those tire variants, version 1.6 of ACC and the 2020 season introduces a new Pirelli tire compound called the DHE. This tire offers better support and traction at the rear, better sidewall flexing and control, and improved heating performance. The new compound offers a massive improvement in wear and delivers more stable grip during a full 60 minute driver stint so it has a less pronounced effect on traction as you go from the high initial grip to a reduced grip level throughout your race session. So give yourself at least two laps to get the tires up to temperature and you'll feel the effects of the improved grip. To use the new DHE tires, you just need to select the 2020 GT World Challenge season in the main menu, or if you're racing multiplayer, choose a 2020 track version of Monza, Brands Hatch, Silverstone, Paul Ricard, Misano, Zandvoort, Spa, Nürburgring, Hungaro Ring, Barcelona, Imola, or Zolder. This will also utilize the balance of performance for the cars, and Bathurst, Kailami, Suzuka, and Laguna Seca may be supported in the future for the 2020 update as more information becomes available to Kunos. And lastly, ACC version 1.6 offers improved yaw simulation. When splitters, wings, or diffusers start moving to a different yaw angle, its efficiency will now change. The more the yaw angle increases, the lower the efficiency will get. This will actually improve your ability to control a slide at lower speed, but decrease your control of a slide at higher speeds. This won't affect your ability to drive under normal grip conditions, but the effects are felt in the handling when you push the car past its traction limit and introduce yaw angles. So in summary guys, we have more grip. The new tires and tire modeling will provide better feelings of grip and grip for a longer time during a race, but you'd also be advised to keep the car under control as the new yaw arrow effects will reduce your downforce when you lose traction at higher speeds. So that's going to conclude my coverage of the improvements and new content introduced in version 1.6 of Assetto Corsa Competizione and with the 2020 GT World Challenge DLC. If you like this or any of the other videos, be sure to click the like button and there will definitely be more content coming from me in the future to cover this title. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.